Good morning. This is your local Land Cruiser nut, and today I'm going to give you an overview of my 1992 FJ80. Now we'll just talk about this truck for a minute. Um, I understand the 90, 90, 91, and 92 model years are the least desirable years to own, um, but you know it's all about what you can afford at the time and what uh, uh, you want to do with the truck. Um, there are definitely some things about this truck that I love and I don't like. I don't say, I don't want to say there's anything that I hate, but the one thing is I absolutely love the way all 80 series looks. It doesn't matter the years, you know, they all look pretty much the same through 90 through 97. Um, but uh, the styling of them is very iconic. The things I don't like about this truck is obviously the 3FE engine is very slow, um, it is very underpowered. Even with the 410 gears this truck came with, I wouldn't want to push anything more than a 33 uh, inch tire without doing a possible re-gear um, or maybe some other options because the truck just does not have the power. Uh, but the only thing I can say about the 3FE is that that is it is never given me a problem It is a super super reliable engine and here where I'm at in Ghana This thing gets me absolutely everywhere. I want to go So with that we'll talk about some things. I will start with the outside and talk about some of the things I've done with the truck um, Obviously in the front you have a Warren uh, winch eight, uh, with 8,000 8, pounds synthetic line um, ARB bull bar and some eBay LED lighting because the lighting on the 80 series it's like here on well, some of these dark roads it's barely more than a couple candles. Um, moving around the truck, go this way. You got the white knuckle off road uh, sliders down here, um, just tinted windows, and the wheels are from an FJ Cruiser. And I just take a rattle can and I spray paint into them black um, as we move around some more this is my first really experience uh, building something for this truck uh, or metal fabricating and this was a spare tire carrier that I built uh, and it turned out very nice um, and then I saw I built also this spare tire or this jerry can uh, holder for it now i will tell you with the the jerry can holder there is a company called more ride that builds these and they're a little pricey but what i would tell you is that if you have a little bit of uh, know-how and some cardboard uh, you can actually make a template and do this yourself and i think maybe with the the metal and some of the uh, fabricating i was in this like 50 dollars. now more rides uh, setup is gonna cost you probably getting close to 200 I believe but I from an engineering perspective I actually like this one that I built better and here's why the more ride system has you connect your strap inside of the this plate here I move mine to the outside so that it wouldn't be constantly rattling and scratching up and possibly rubbing against this can and damaging it also if we come around to the back side here Again, more, more rides connection point for the strap is up against this plate right here. Well, I wanted to move mine to where it slides onto the truck to give you another uh, round of security. I mean, yes, I have a bolt right here. It's not in at the moment because I just put it back on for the video. But there's a bolt that goes down that secures it at one point, and then this secures it at the second point. Whereas more rides, if it hooks up down here, that means this strap is coming down, and you only have that bolt for security. I actually like this design a lot better um, and I feel it's a lot safer because you know, these things get pretty heavy uh, with uh, 20 liters or five gallons in them so the whole system kind of just opens up like this I actually did a video on making this so that's uh, I really love this thing it, it came out better than I expected recently um, I took out this glass and put a new seal in I can tell you that this was incredibly easy don't be afraid of tackling something yourself uh, you know the the rear seal on these things is one of the weak points of where you get a lot of rust 
So I took that project out on my own. I actually have a little bit of footage of me doing it. As long as you don't have major rust where you're gonna have to go to a body shop because I'm not good at that things, so you can absolutely do this yourself. Don't be afraid. Uh, it will just take you and a friend in one afternoon to do it. Uh, it's a really easy to fix this if you don't have major rust. Moving around to the truck, you can see some spots where that are whiter than others. It's, I've been having some body work done here and some rust remediation. Um, just trying to get the thing back straight. It's not a showpiece, but I just want it to not rust, especially here in a crawl where I'm very close to the ocean. Things seem to rust quickly. Uh, the other thing I did here was I actually deleted the antenna. Uh, mine was broken and I really don't use the radio at all. So I just was like, you know what, I'm going to take the whole thing off, I weld in a new piece and just get rid of it. Turned out pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the 80 series on the outside. Let's talk about the inside some. Okay, moving on to the interior of my 80 series. See the seats are starting to wear out a little bit but that's all right it's almost you know 30 years old WeatherTech floor liners I love those things they've been actually helping the truck a lot I actually picked up this dash pad and I absolutely love it um, one because my dash is in really good condition and there's no cracks in it but this thing is money for when you're going on a lot of trips and uh, you just need to store some items. I absolutely love it. Uh, I got it from a company, I believe in South Africa, called Equip One. You can uh, look them up and depending on your year model, they're gonna ask you to take a picture of your dash and then they'll make you one. And they come in a couple different colors. But you can see that I've obviously removed the original radio and I went with the aftermarket radio. It's just an Alpine head unit. Um, this is part of the reason why I, uh, got rid of the antennas because I normally run the Bluetooth but as you can see 235,000 miles the truck is in uh, runs great starts right up it's again why I love the 80 series super reliable you can see I deleted the uh, just the, the where the antenna used to be right here I put in a, a replacement piece more cup holders can't go wrong with those move on to the back now okay we'll start in the back seats uh, just got the, the attic system back here I believe that came from Blue Ridge Overland um, we got the inverter when I built this box I'll walk around and show you guys uh, I just run power to the back of the truck uh, so that was a fairly simple thing so let's kind of go around here I actually have a video online of making this and how I did it. Uh, there's a there's a lot of just things to be said about working on your truck, doing it yourself. Um, and this was just one of my better projects. So everything just kind of, you know, stores in here. Just got some basic accessories. Uh, behind here, I took out this uh, old um, speaker that was back here. And then I put, that's where I mounted my ARB compressor that goes into the truck and you can t remove this panel and that's where I keep all in my lines and everything. Uh, also back there is where I put in a couple plugs. I'm getting ready to put in another one right here. Uh, that one is just for my kids have their tablets or when I put in an air mattress back here that I can uh, just plug in right there and get everything uh, kind of aired up and get it ready to go. So this is my 80 series. This is everything that I've just done. I absolutely love the truck. Uh, I'll be making more videos on a couple things. Um, again, it's just trying to keep it on the road and trying to keep it safe. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions about anything or you think there's something I should else I should address uh, with the truck, uh, please let me know. Like and subscribe again. Yeah, look to see you soon.